Hello everyone, I am Sada Shara and welcome to Sada Learning Hub. Today's session we are going to learn demon threads in multi-threading in Java. The threads which are executing in the background are called demon threads. The main objective of demon threads is to provide support for non-demon threads. For example, garbage collector. We can check whether the thread is in daemon or not by using the isDaemon method. The signature is public final boolean isDaemon method. We can change the daemon nature of the thread by using the setDaemon method. If it, the setDaemon method takes the boolean value. But we can change the daemon nature before starting the thread only. That is, after starting the thread, if we are trying to change the daemon nature, we will get the runtime exception saying illegal thread state exception. Main thread is always non-daemon and we can't change its daemon nature because it's already started at the beginning only. Main thread is always non-daemon and for the remaining threads, daemon nature will be inheriting from the parent to child. That is, if the parent is a daemon child, is also daemon and if the parent is not daemon then child is also non daemon whenever the last non daemon thread terminates automatically all daemon threads will be terminated for example i can show here one example here see this example i'm creating a one class my thread i'm extending from the thread class I am overriding the run method. In this run method, I am iterating the loop. In that loop, I am putting the thread dot sleep. I am creating one more class. In the in that class, there is a main method. I am creating an object of my thread. I am setting the value. Uh, I am setting t is a set as a as a thread t as a daemon. That's why I am setting t dot set daemon of true. Now I am starting the thread dot start. Whenever we are calling the t dot start, automatically it executes the run method. Here, whenever we are compiling this program, it compiles successfully. Whenever we are run this program, it gives result like this. It gives end of the thread and lazy method, lazy thread. Sorry, gives the lazy thread. If we are committing the line one, see in this line. If you are committing this line one, line one, then both main and the both main and the child threads are non daemon, and hence both will be executed until their completion. If we are not commenting line, then main thread is non daemon and the child threads is a daemon. And hence, whenever main thread terminates automatically, child threads will be terminated. If you are commenting this line one, means if you are commenting this line, both main and child threads are non daemon. If you are uncomment this line, sorry, if you are uncomment this line, sorry, sorry, if you are uncomment this line, um, main thread is non daemon and child threads is daemon and hence whenever main thread terminates automatically child threads will be terminated next i am going to discuss about deadlock versus starvation a long waiting of a thread which never ends is called deadlock a long waiting of a thread which ends at a certain point is called starvation a low priority thread has to wait until completing all high priority threads. This long waiting of thread which ends at a certain point is called the starvation. Now, how to kill the threads in that middle of the line? We can call stop method to stop the thread in the middle then it will be entered into the dead state immediately. The signature of the dead stop method is public final wide stop. Stop method has been deprecated and hence not recommended to use. 
next i am going to discuss about suspend and resume methods resume methods a thread can be suspended another thread by using the suspend method then the thread will be paused temporarily by using the suspend method a thread can suspend another thread by using the suspend method then that thread will be paused temporarily this signature of thread method is public final void suspend a thread can resume a suspended thread by using the resume method then suspended thread will be continued its execution the signature of this resume method is public final void resume both methods are deprecated and are not recommended to use next i am going to discuss about race condition executing multiple threads simultaneously and causing the data inconsistency problems is nothing but race conditions we can resolve race condition by using the synchronized keyword race condition means inconsistency problem data inconsistency problem to resolve this problem by using the synchronized keyword now life cycle of a thread the life cycle of the thread means they has a four cycle seven life cycles are there they are newborn state under ready or runnable state under running state under dead state in the middle there is a sleeping state waiting state there is a sleeping and waiting states there are the different states in the life cycle of a thread now what is the difference between extends thread and implements runnable extends thread is useful to override the public void run method of a thread class and uh, implements runnable is useful to implement the public void run method of a runnable interface next extends thread implements runnable which one is advantage if we extend the thread class there is no scope to extend any other classes that's why implements runnable class is recommended to for the good programming practice thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many session that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye